Sip. Pagosa Springs, Stevens Field. Automated weather observation. One, seven, three, eight, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, two, zero, Celsius, dew point, one, altimeter, three, zero, four, two, remark. Pagosa Springs, traffic series, triple three alpha members, taxi really one nine or via alpha Pagosa. Okay, everybody, welcome aboard. Okay, today I just dropped off a client here in Pagosa Springs. Uh, he's going with some friends to go elk hunting uh, for a little while here. Um, so I'm in a 22 Turbo. I uh, just came from Denver, just filed IFR back to Denver. Um, so it should be a really nice scenic flight for you. The leaves are just starting to change here in Colorado, so uh, we'll get to see some of that along the way. Uh, so uh, enjoy the flight here. Go to traffic, series 333 off members departing runway 19 for a northeast bound departure. I go to okay, get that nose wheel centered up. Bring it up the power. Bond the right rudder. Okay, make sure we don't overboost the manifold. All right, speed live, gauges are in the green. There's 70, we'll rotate. All right, off the ground, 380 knots, so laps are coming up. Traffic series, three 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 off members, uh, turning left out to the northeast, Pagosa. So up ahead we have the uh, the southern edge of the San Juan mountain range here. And um, we have a little bit of a cloud deck just above them. Uh, we flew through them coming on in here, so what I'm doing is climbing up to 12,000, uh, making sure I have terrain obstruction clearance and also maintain clear clouds VFR before I can pick up my uh, IFR clearance uh, from Denver Center. Good night. Good afternoon, Denver Center, Series 333 Alpha Number off Pagosa, looking up to uh, pick up our IFR to Centennial. Number 333 Alpha Number, Denver Center, plus 5103. 5103, Series 3 Alpha Number. Number 246 Bravo Echo. 246 Bravo Echo, go ahead. Number 6 Bravo Echo, I've got to see you. Number 333 Alpha November, say your altitude and give me your position from Pagosa. Uh, currently at 1 2000 and we are 8 miles northeast of the field. Alright, number 333 Alpha November, clear to Centennial Airport. As filed, fund maintained 1 7000. The uh, Pagosa Springs Alpha November 3042. All right, three member clear to Centennial as file, climb 19, 17,000, 3042, zero, three alpha number. Number three alpha number, report um, 25, 25 miles north of Pagosa. All right, report 25 miles north uh, east of Pagosa, three alpha number. Uh, so he cleared us as filed, so we filed the, uh, let's go back to four flight here. Uh, Lark's, Lark's 8 arrival into Centennial, so I already put that in there. I'm going to go back over and capture our course off to our left here. Okay, turn the nav, or I'm going to arm the nav function so that when CDI comes back to center for our track, track that GPS course here. And that thing was pretty easy, so I'm just keep it on. And I'm going to work on getting my oxygen on. Alright, turn my oxygen on. Look at my flow regulator. Uh, set it to uh, between 16 and 18,000 feet. That's where we're going. Sun Devil 1 did not exceed 210 knots. We're going to maintain 13,000. 
Uh, come out some a nice view off the left, left here. Um, I'll see you on the camera, maybe. To the, north. the very bottom of your screen, you'll uh, see a road. That's a Wolf Creek uh, Pass. Uh, that dumps you from the, the east side of the mountains here, all the way down into Pagosa and then on into Durango. That was a quick ride, quick ride up here. It only took about uh, 15 miles or so to get up here. And uh, he asked me to report 25 miles northeast of. Level three alpha of every day altitude. Uh, just currently level off at one seven thousand. Level three alpha of every change to my frequency one two five point three five twenty five thirty five. And just monitor that if you can't hear me. All right, twenty five thirty five three alpha. Pull back to 30.5 or as close as I can get. I zip it through the clouds here nicely. Pull the mixture back to the bottom side of a bull. This blue sign mark on the fuel flow uh, for a lane of peak here and the turbos. Looking for about, at this altitude, you should get about 15 and a half gallons per hour, so somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, that blue sign mark is an algorithmic calculation the engine does, uh, saying, hey, this is a very a safe uh, fuel flow that I need to operate uh, smoothly, then it's in the, uh, the the lean of peak arc, or the lean of peak area, pretty much. So, um, usually when leaning down, I check the TITs, make sure they're in an appropriate area. It's about 1,500 degrees right now, which is nice and cool for this altitude. And CHTs are trending down from the climb, so that's exactly what I'm looking for here. And we'll follow it up with a cruise uh, cruise checklist here. All right, cruise established power set to 30 and a half or close to it. Fuel pump is on, remains on. Mixture is as required. Fuel flow looks good. Mixture looks good. We get a few bumps here through these big clouds here. Temperature's minus six, getting just a little frost on the wing, leading edges of the wing, but uh, I think this is going to be a quick uh, ride through this cloud. Break out any second. A lot of isolated little pockets that go right through it. Hector Jack, Mastros, and Airport to Tesla, Airport So just in that 10 seconds that we went through that cloud there, that minus six degree. We already got a light, just a light buildup on all surfaces of the wings here. So, um, you know, even though it's a warm summer day in Colorado, uh, you can still build up ice real quick here. So, uh, knowing that I could see, I could see around the cloud before I went in, um, that it'll be a quick one. So I didn't turn the TKS on. But if I knew we were prolonged in the clouds at these temperatures, I would have primed up the system to get those wings coated before entering those clouds. Center series three off number uh, twenty eight miles northeast of uh, Pagosa. Uh, three off number uh, safe position again. Uh, we're two eight miles northeast of Pagosa. Thank you. Three off number loud, loud and clear. The uh, gun is now centered at three zero four seven. Three zero four seven. Three off number. Thanks. All right. So a lot of times uh, you'll hear when you find the mountains here, there's a lot of terrain in the Rocky uh, Mountains. Uh, uh, so Denver Center has multiple layers of air spaces. And they're also, um, the, the way the frequencies and the radio coverage and the radar coverage are set up is really unique to uh, the mounts here. Um, they have a lot of um, uh, multiple frequencies for one controller. So if you actually go up to Denver Center, uh, one controller you, uh, will be uh, on their panel will have three different frequencies. So you might be controlling one sector. But in that sector, there might be some terrain that obstructs some of those towers. So there might be a, uh, uh, a plane up in the north side of a sector that he can talk to you on one frequency, and then a plane on the south side of the sector that he can talk to in a different frequency Airborne there. And what, uh, um, so a lot of times we'll hear today, right like right now the controller just talked, but we can't hear the airplane. So we might be able to hear two frequencies that he's using. Um, but we can't hear the plane back because they may be talking five back five on the frequency. So you might be broadcasting yeah, on two different probably, frequencies uh, at the same time. Four by three. So when I first learned how to find the mountains, I thought that was an unnerving thing not to be able to hear both sides of the conversation. So uh, I asked the controller why that is, and they explained it to me. Three three zero two to maintain one one thousand. The page altimeter three zero two two. 
But there are some cases in uh, the mountains or some airports where they have radar and radio coverage all the way down to the, the, the airport surface, two, three, three, two, even in the valleys. And, uh, uh, which is super helpful when you have IFR so you get there, the uh, type days. Airport. Like today, the ghost says sits down there. They don't have radar or radio reception down to the airport or radar pretty down low there. So that's why I had to make a position report um, so that one, he could identify us, and two, um, he wouldn't be able to get radar reception of us until we were about 25, 30 miles northeast of uh, Pagosa. November, triple three, Alpha, November, cross flarks at maintain one five thousand. Centennial tender three zero three five. Cross flarks at one five thousand, Ferris three Alpha number. Alrighty, uh, we're about to uh, fifteen twenty minutes out of sight of Centennial. Just got our crossing restriction through Larks. United four eighty nine. Approach one two zero point three five. Gonna fifteen thousand. It's gonna create a top of descent point for me. So top of descent will be at um or in five minutes from now. Hello, Denver approach there's three 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 out of number at one seven thousand. And I'm one Roger. Sears three 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 out of November, Denver approach, expect runway three five right at Centennial. Oh, expect three five right, three out of number. Three out of November should be runway three five left, three five rights closed. Yeah, it sounds better. Three out or three five left, three out number. Sears three out of November, descend to maintain one four thousand. Descend to maintain one four thousand, Sears three out of November. Alright, so since we have the VNAV captured, I'm gonna take it out of VNAV mode. And actually just capture 600 feet a minute right where we're at on the vertical speed and just change our bug to 14,000 that way our uh, vertical descent is kind of it's kind of done because we're want to be where we're going to be below four or uh, 15 by the time we hit lark so i'm going to go back to my flight plan at least just delete uh that uh vnav altitude so that it cleans up my uh altitude tape over there a little bit all right there's our turn off from larks going direct to paid Two three Alpha and November flighting zero eight zero for descent. Heading zero eight zero zero three Alpha November. Well, he read my mind. I was just about to tell you. Usually after Larks, they vector you in uh, because Larks arrival goes to the Falcon VOR, which is inside the class Denver Bravo, so you can't really go out to it and come back to Centennial. So they usually just vector you around. So took it out of nav mode. We're gonna turn right to zero eight zero for our uh, vector descent. That's nice on smooth days. Uh, going 160 indicated, got 205 knots and climbing over the ground. Um, so we got smooth days, but nice, just a little bit uh, accelerating, fly nice and fast. And box at about 1, However, and since, this box approach is, since this approach is kind of a slam dunk approach into Denver because you're coming right over the front range into uh, the airspace, sometimes you have to... November 3 November, descend to maintain 1, 2,000. Descend to maintain 1, 2,000, so there's 3 off on um, so you can see here they keep stepping us down, so even though I'm not even close to my next altitude, uh, they keep stepping you down, so even though you're going fast, 200 knots over the ground, uh, you have to still plan ahead for your power management and your airspeed management, because um, since this is a, a Generation 3 turbo, uh, we have the 119 knot flap limitation for flaps 50 as opposed to 150 knots in the G5 and the 6, so I uh, just got to think a little bit ahead of the road, or a little bit down the road. Keeping ahead of the plane as always. But uh, just that checklist is done. Engine looks great, fuel looks great, speed's still 160. And since he's vectoring me pretty far south of Centennial, I know I'm going to have, uh, uh, most likely going to have some time once I level off to get some uh, speed. Um, but it shed that speed off so I can get the flaps in. Two right. three from Alvin and Vimer to Centennial, maintain 1 1000, connect approach 132.75. Set up maintain one one thousand and approach at one three two seven five. Three off good day. All right, we're gonna go into eleven thousand now and switch to approach. Good afternoon, never approach. Sir, three 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 alpha number is out of thirteen point five for eleven. Three 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 alpha number, Durham approach for Roger. Sir, three alpha number, just gonna maintain one one thousand. Maintain one one thousand, three alpha number. It's so already bugged for that. Sometimes they do that, they forget. Uh, 1812 Echo, for up to 11 o'clock, one mile, south south. So, uh, 3275 is the last approach controller before we get handed over tower, so I'm going to stay a little ahead here and put tower frequency 
Uh, stand by there, so we're ready to go. We already have the ATIS, so on the bottom, I'm going to move ground over, so when I get off the runway, at all I have to do is push one site, button one there, so. One tackle, roger. Frequency management is also important coming in on uh, approaches into busy airports, so that you can... Uh, 328, Niner, contact, Centennial Tower, 1, all right, so I'm expecting a left turn uh, onto the final approach course. So I'm going to start backing off the power just a little bit, anticipating that. There's 333 off and over turn left heading 020, except so runway 35, uh, right localizer. All right, 020 zero zero for the localizer, draft number. Draft okay. number, just VFI, 35 right is close, uh, 150 field of sight, find the visual, 35 left. All right, we'll find the visual, 35 left, and we'll get the field of sight. All right, ILS 35 right, uh, we're on the vectors, I'm going to turn the barrel on, 6085. Control Denver, right, elevated to Bravo, current, Denver, altimeter 3032. Oh, uh, we, I was not cleared for that ILS approach to 35. Got a 1812, right, so we're going to 12 o'clock, about two miles, turning final to another sky lane, 7000. We're going to November, the airport, 10 o'clock, one, two miles. Ah, uh, we see it now, 3 off member. Clear 3 off member, clear visual approach, only 3 5 left. Clear visual 3 5 left, sir, 3 off member. Alright, make sure kind of full ridge, checklist before landing, seatbelt's good, fuel pump on boost, make sure it's full ridge, flaps and autopilot to go. Clear 3 off November, contact in Tanner Tower, 118.9, good day. 18.9, 3 off member, good day. Good afternoon, Centennial Tower, sir, 333, Alpha member, visual 3 5 left. Sure is, 3-3-3 off November, Centennial Tower, continue approach, runway 3-5 left, track will be in position and depart, priority arrival. Alright, continue for 3-5 left, sir, triple 3 off November. Sure is, 3 off November, reduce the final approach speed. 3 off November, we're slowing. Thank you. Sure is, 3 off November, proof call traffic, 12 o'clock, 3 miles, westbound mountain gates, 7,500 Cessna. Alright, got it on the screen, but we'll keep an eye out visually, Jeff. Okay. Sure, 3 off November, traffic, 11 o'clock, 1 mile, experimental, they're uh, holding over the field at or above 7,300 feet, runway 35 left, clear land. 35 left, clear land, we'll keep an eye out for the traffic, sir, 3 off November. Cherokee 05 Hotel, proof call traffic, just over uh, 10, they'll be turning southbound, contact him, departure soon. Over to departure, thanks for your help, 05 Hotel. Cessna 7 Sir Papa, traffic uh, straight ahead is a Cherokee southeastbound. 7 Sir Papa, traffic in sight. Now get on the brakes and see if we can get off of Bravo 12. Three kilo tango, Centennial Tower, runway three five left, one up and one. Five away, three five left, four two three kilo tango. Sure is three off in November, turn right to at Bravo twelve and contact ground point eight, see up. Right about twelve, ground point eight, three off numbers, yep. Then ten ground series, three 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 off number at Bravo twelve two hotel. Sierra 323, Alpha November, Centennial Ground, taxi northbound on El, uh, Bravo. Cross runway 35 right at Bravo 8 and State Park, and again, please. All right, Bravo, Bravo 8, cross Alpha 8, and we're going to Hotel Drop November. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for coming along. It was a nice, smooth flight. Got to see some cool Aspen colors, some IMC. Got to talk to you a little bit about Mountain Ops. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.